Hello, and welcome to what's bubbling a zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this Dr. Abstract, we're going to take a look at another update in zim 10.6.0, and that is we've introduced constants that will help us with a few things, including uh, pose. Pose is very popular, so um, we had some thoughts about it. Let's uh, go take a look now. We'll go to the Zim site at zimjs.com, and I suppose we can make our way in by going to the tips. So we go into tips and hit position. So with position, here it is, there's been some changes to position. And why don't we go look at a code example though found here. So here's the link in position, uh, zimjs.com slash positioning. I think this will be an easy way to look at it. So we can position with loc, and that puts the registration point, this round circle's registration point, at 100, 100 there. Pose also will do something like that. If we pose 300, 100, it puts the, it puts the left-hand side of the object at 300, and it puts the top of the object at 100. So a little bit different. It just happens to be if the registration point is in the same, in the corner there, then um, it kind of works the same way as look. So uh, then though, we'll go to pose over here. Here's a pose at 200, 100, and this is something new. We've introduced, this used to be just, we would put true there, and true would mean from the right. So if you take a look, we're 200 pixels, 200 to the right-hand side of the object, and 100 down. So that's how it works. This is 100 from the left-hand side, but if you pose it on the right, it's the distance, 200, from the right-hand side. So this used to read 200, 100, true, and what I found is a few people were, you'd read that and you wouldn't quite know what it was. Sometimes you couldn't, as you were making it, you felt a little bit awkward putting true and false or null into these places and didn't quite know what they were. So we've introduced in constants. So that means that right, bottom, left, center, uh, those there's also horizontal vertical, but that's for for something else. These constants have been added, uh, which means anytime we want, and they they, they um, are just the string. So if they evaluate to the string, the constant right capital R I G H T will evaluate to lowercase quote right. So you can also put lowercase quote right in there, and for legacy you can put true in there as well, and any of those will work. Now, along with uh, the constants, because look, here, here's another constant at the bottom, 200, 100 from the right and from the bottom. You see how that reads a little bit easier, I think. So we're 200 from the right, 100 from the bottom. Uh, uh, as well as that, we have introduced the idea of center into pose, because now that we have these constants, we can say center. So check this out. This is zero from the center and 100 from the bottom. So that's 100 up and it's zeroed right on the center. So how center works, this gives an example here, here's another one, minus 100, 100, from the center, from the center. So what it does is it places the object first here in the center, and then it moves it over 100, and down 100. So uh, you end up, as you can see, if it were placed in the center, imagine it's placed in the center, that's like right here. If we're moving it over 100 and down 100, that is, or sorry, yeah, down, down 100 is plus, plus 100, back uh, is minus 100. You can see that now the center of it is right here at 100 over and 100 down. Okay, so it will center it first and then move it however many you told it in here. And this one, for instance, is positioned 100 from the left, 0 from the center, so the vertical center is, is at 0. There it is, and that makes it handy. Now we can store things or place things around the edges anywhere, uh, any any four corners or the four uh, edges centered, or indeed actually the center. So you can still move. The equivalent of this is, is center reg or centering, uh, as in cent here's here's another example. We centered this green one and then we moved it 200. Uh, it, you, you can do the same thing. You can do it in two steps by centering it and then moving it if you so desire. So that's in the past how we'd always uh, centered it around the middle is just center it, move it. That's pretty easy. But then when it goes around the edge, it was tricky. You would center it and then you would position it on the edge 
at null for the uh, y, if it's, if it's this edge, null for the y, null for well, whether we want it uh, on the bottom. And so it was sort of this awkward null issue. Now it will read better with, um, with the words in it. So uh, if we want to just quickly take a peek at the code there, well, I'll drop on out from Ribbon to Adam here where we have it. It's, it's as expected. We're making a box, which is a new rectangle. We pose it. There's the pose. Here's the pose. And here are the center, center, right, top, etc. Left, center, center, bottom. And there you go. So once again, you could turn that into center if you wanted to, a lowercase string version of center. But we have provided these constants to make it a little bit, yeah, it's just it's just a one extra step to put in quotes. It's no big deal. But um, there you go. In other languages, like the, the sort of at the end of action script, we introduced a whole bunch, like all the mouse uh, mouse moves and things like that were all uppercase constant stored on the mouse. <laughs> it's like a, because they were stored on the mouse event or on the mouse object or something, it was always a little bit lengthy looking. These ones are global global constants. If you don't like the global constants, you can uh, turn Z and S to true. Then you would have to say zim dot center zim dot bottom. All right, so why don't we keep this one shorter than the last bubblings? <laughs> last bubblings, we kind of rambled a little bit, but uh, it's been nice to have a nice quick Zim bubbling, and this is the last one in the 10.6 updates uh, for a little while, as far as we know. Uh, some changes to center and the introduction to constants. Well, you know what, actually, um, let's just come back out of that. I remembered another constant that we may want to take a peek at. <laughs> fake, fake joke. Uh, let's see, that was some bubblings we were working on before. I just want to get to the Zim site here and uh, take a look at the docs. Down in the docs, uh, by the way, the docs have been slightly adjusted too. I'm glad we came here and show you this. Here are the, the constants right here. And if we come across more later, we will introduce them. And then you can open that up and it talks a little bit about them as well. We, In doing so, we realized, hey, maybe it'd be nice to show you our color constants as well. This has always bugged me. Any, anytime I want to see a color, sometimes I'd have to go into the frame and uh, dig for it. Now we can open it up here. And if you just hit the view, there are the, the values for that. As a matter of fact, we might go one step further and just put the values right in here. That might make sense. But anyway, um, those are listed there. The new pose, POS, uh, the, the information on the new pose, horizontal vertical is there. And we've gone out and spelled the changes to pose because it's gone through three changes and you're, you're looking at uh, example code out there and it does it one way and now it's doing it another way. So there you go. You can have a read over pose and make sure you've got that as well as updated examples. But the other constants are down in the code module. Let's see, where's that underneath? The... So this is the, the code module. Under basics, we were doing some work with angles and distances and things like that. We've added three constants in here. Uh, which you can have a read over. If you're using radians at all, tau is a little bit easier than um, pi because, for instance, tau divided by 4 is 90 degrees, tau divided by uh, 2. Uh, you're dividing a circle, 360 circle, divided by 2 would be 180. So it just works out a little bit better. And also, if you're wanting to convert from radians to degrees, you can now multiply by degree. So here, uh, for instance, or uh, to convert from... Uh, degrees to radians, so the sine of 90 degrees, you want that to be in radians, so you multiply by rad. Uh, but when you get the sine, you um, might, you'll get uh, radians, so you might want to multiply that by degrees to get back to, to 90. So, uh, that, there we go. Now we're finished with this, uh, what's been bubbling at Zim. I remembered we had a few more constants to point out. And uh, see you later. Have a great day or night. Come on in and join us at zimjs.com slash slack. Let others know about Zim. We'd uh, love to have some of your friends, some colleagues, workmates, and so forth um, in here as well. And uh, please, yeah, come on, join us in Slack and uh, say hi. Ciao.